PowerGen India and Central Asia 2012 and the two located sister events Hydrovision India and Renewable Energy World India. In this show report, we're going to take you onto the exhibition floor to show you the latest innovations in products and services that are on display for both conventional power generation, renewable energy and hydropower. Cooper was actually India's first diesel engine manufacturer. We have a technological tie-up with Ricardo of the UK and Ricardo has designed uh, these engines that you see right here. These are state-of-the-art, common rail fuel injection and Euro 4 compliant engines. We produce diesel and gas off-highway uh, engines and they go into variable speed applications and they go into fixed speed applications. This is the, the 4016, uh, which is our 16 cylinder, the most powerful engine that we produce and that delivers a, a power of 2,500 kVA. In terms of what it does for this market, uh, we, we think it's ideally suited in terms of its, its architecture and its technology that allows it to run on um, what you call variations of fuel, different types of fuel or fuel grades. Uh, it's a very robust engine, very robust in design and ideally suited for standby and prime applications. One of the latest products what we have is a Losha High Efficiency Dynamic Classifier. So this product what we have uh, it helps in reducing NOx as well as carbon dioxide. Basically, it's, it has all to do with the burning of the coal. So if the coal is grinded properly and if it's classified, so there are certain particle size, if they burn properly, then there will be less flame temperature and because of that there will be less NOx produced, hence reduce the NOx. This is a component called clinker grinder which is used below the boiler because some of the unburned coal comes below and it's in bigger in size. We need to crush it through this and after crushing, its output is remains around less than 20 mm so that we can take it away from the power plant. And it's had a unique feature in case some bigger component comes in on this grinder. So it will be stuck in between the two rollers and then it will start reverse in reverse direction so that whatever is stuck in between the roller it comes out and then again it goes back. So this is a normal operation of this system. The latest design you can see here is a, an actuator, electric actuator with integrated feedback which is based on torque motor. So the torque we can develop is two and a half newton meter on a very small device as you can see it. This torque actuator can not only be used on diesel engines but also on gas engine or integrated butterfly valve and controlling a gas engine with low torque or slow torque buildup has been always a problem which we believe we have solved by now. So today we are focusing more on the solar in this exhibition. So we have three technologies in ABB itself. We have a solar thermal power project where I can offer the complete uh, steam boiler which gives up a 100 bar and 500 degrees temperature which can go up to 150 megawatt. And we have another technology called concentrated solar thermal where I can give the complete turnkey solutions. So in PV also, photovoltaic, where in thin film and crystalline, I offer the complete solutions including the modules, structures, civil and the electrical part, including inverters. Basically, the scope of services of Webcos deals with all, all kind of uh, services related to water resources, power and uh, infrastructure development. There is a various division which works for various sectors. Like, as you can see from here only, we provide hydropower consultancy. And as far as the work-related concern, we provide consultancy services for every project of hydropower, like starting to its end. We started from feasibility study report to the detailed, detailed project report till the tender engineering process. This presentation was on efficiency in power plants and we had a set of five papers, each one of them focusing on different areas through which energy efficiency can be brought into uh, power stations. So we talked of supercritical technologies, we talked of efficiency in water circulation, 
We talked of efficiency in the steam and water pipe distribution. The five papers together provided a very good overview of the kinds of efficiency improvements that are available and are possible. And the kinds of options, therefore, that are available to power stations as they upgrade their efficiency. The latest development in the Pelton turbine, as you know, is a Pelton turbine is a reaction turbine. There are two types of impulse and reaction. So Pelton turbine is an impulse turbine and Francis turbine, as you normally know, it is a reaction turbine. So the session was about the Pelton turbines and there were less of development for achieving highest output and maximum efficiency. And it was a nice uh, and very interactive session. The paper that I presented was uh, basically evolving around higher efficiency equipments and the way we test high efficiency vertical turbine pumps uh, worldwide. The key element was the testing and the prevailing condition in India is totally different and it is based on the experience or uh, conditions that are being followed for quite some time. And what we, we proposed was a complete change in the way pumps are tested. You can verify the actual power, the actual efficiencies, the way the pumps are uh, you know, operating uh, in today's scenario. So it, it is a complete game changer kind of situation. As we near the end of the show, I'm delighted to say that both our delegates and our exhibitors have reported a successful event, providing us with positive and constructive feedback that will ensure all three events evolve in the years to come.